guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lauren, wedding planner and owner of Bluebird Creative. If you haven't already, then make sure you subscribe to my channel for some wedding planning goodness. So today I'm carrying on from last week's video, which if you didn't catch, I will link it up here for you. We were talking about where you can upgrade in your wedding. Today I'm talking, I am talking, <laughs> I am talking specifically about the table design. So let's jump in immediately and go through the different elements of your table design and how you can upgrade. Let's do it. <laughs> Okay, I am gonna go through this in order of how I lay up a table and I do consider the process layering. So the first area is the tablecloth. As standard, you will be issued a white, crisp, fresh, clean looking tablecloth, which is lovely, it goes with everything, it's easy. If you did want to upgrade that, you can. You can choose from an array of colors, textures, patterns, you can have stripes, you can have florals, you can have lilac, red, black, my personal favourite at the moment is the urbane texture and I'm really liking it in the chalk, chalk which I actually have here. Um, I'm going to bring it in. Can you see the texture? It's really cool. Just gives something a little bit different and the chalk is really neutral. It's, it's nothing out there. It goes with everything. I really, really like it. So that's the tablecloth. You can upgrade it. If you are having trestles, you may decide you don't want tablecloths because the rustic wooden trestle look is awesome. And if you're getting married in a barn, then I advise to just do that because that looks amazeballs. Anyway, the next part of the layering process from the tablecloth, we're then going to look at potentially having charger plates. One minute. This, my friends, is a charger plate. A charger plate is for decoration. You do not eat off your charger plate. I mean, you could do if you want to. You, I guess you could choose it as a plate to eat off, but a charger plate, you do not eat off. Now, how it works is the charger plate will be placed on the table with your napkin on top or however you're styling it so that when guests come into the room, there is a plate laid up. It does look nicer. It's not a necessity. It is for decoration. I'm just letting you know the options. In fact, you don't have to do any of these. You can just pick and choose depending on your budget. So with the charger plate, once your food is brought out, the charger plate will be removed, but it will sit on the table if you do decide to have it with your napkin on top or however you decide to do it. And it does look nice. So that's the charger plate. Okay, so let's move on to cutlery. As standard, you will be issued silver cutlery, which is absolutely fine. However, what if you have decided to have gold accents or copper accents for your wedding, or you just want something a little bit extra? There are options, my friends, do not worry. If you are having copper accents, for example, at your wedding, you might want copper cutlery. It's as simple as that. And you can do. There are lots of places that hire out copper cutlery nowadays, and it's really, really cool. I love it. You might want gold. Ta -da! You can have gold cutlery. This one isn't a plain gold. This one's really cool. This actually has a grey charcoal base as well, which I really like. There are so many other options as well. You can have ones with like an enamel handle, like a pearlized pattern. Lots of different options. Speak to your local hire company and see what there are. But those are just a couple of the cutlery options for you. Okay, so let's move on to the crockery itself and the plate. These plates won't necessarily be on the table. The food will be brought out on the plate unless you decide to have sharing boards. So one of my clients a couple of years ago had fruit de mer created, it was absolutely amazing. And they were just brought out in the towers with all the fish and the seafood on them. So we didn't have charger plates, we had regular plates, but they were already out on the tables, as mentioned like a charger plate, but because it was a sharing main, they could already be on the tables and then people helped themselves. So that is an option as well. As standard, you will be issued white plain plates, very nice unoffensive, simple and easy. You can upgrade, there is always places for you to upgrade. So I've got a couple of examples here. This is a very simple example. I really like this, it's quite romantic. And it's just a white plate, but it has a beautiful beaded effect around the side. This one looks beautiful with sort of pink, dusky colors, like for napkins, it's, it's really beautiful. This is a complete contrast. I absolutely love this as well. It's kind of got like a copper effect in it. It looks amazing. I really like this for sort of slightly industrial themes or an autumn winter wedding. It looks fantastic with a range of different colors on top. Anything bold looks great on that. Absolute winner. There's also some stoneware plates that are available, glass plate, lots of options. You can really get creative. So do look at the different options if that's somewhere where you want to upgrade. Okay. 
so next let's move on so we've built up the table linen we have the charger plate or not the plate the cutlery next we are going to look at napkins so you will again be issued a white crisp clean and fresh napkin which will usually be folded very simply and placed on the center of the plate or just on the table if you're not having a charger plate. This is possibly the easiest area to upgrade and just add a little of something personal. So I've got a couple of options here so you can just see some of the varieties. You could have gingham, not a personal fan of gingham, but you could have gingham. There's the urbane texture which I showed you in the table linen and you could have that in napkin. Here is a lilac which is absolutely beautiful. Teal, I love that. Coral pumpkin again i really love that that with the copper plate amazing you could have stripes so this is the usual fabric that you would have your white in but this is in a really cool kind of a soft apricot maybe not so soft but it's it's really pretty this is one of my faves at the moment i have a thing about texture it's really simple but i really like that and it would go with so much there are so many more options out there that's just the selection that i happen to have with me today but again go to your local hire company and investigate and see what they've got on offer for you okay so let's move on to glassware there again are lots of options here now you will have a champagne flute a wine glass and a water glass so let's just Start with the water glass options so you can choose from different textures and different colors and different shapes so if you decide to have colored glass which again just adds a pop of color and a lot of people have just been choosing a colored or textured water glass just to add something different so i've got a really cool green textured water glass here you can have those in a variety of colors this is a really nice lilac i like that because it's not too much it's just gentle there are lots of different patterns out there as well have them with no texture at all and just a different color so that's nice i do like the texture i clearly have a thing for texture don't i this is my favorite style at the moment it's just old school i love it like a, a whiskey glass i really like that i used that at a recent event other options are actually going for a water goblet so we've got here this style in this really cool dark blue which i love these come in a range of colors and they'll come in different patterns depending on who you go to this is more of a smoke kind of charcoal gray and then we also have it in a very light pink which is nice and romantic. If you're going for brights, the white beaded plate, the pink napkin, the pink glass could look really quite beautiful. You could have a clear glass textured charger plate. You get the picture. Okay, and so finally moving on to champagne glasses and wine glasses. I've only got one example with me today, but the standard will be a plain regular wine glass and champagne flute. Completely unoffensive and easy. If you wanted to upgrade, you could go for something like this, which just has very little bit of detail on the top and it's a really nice shape. Usually the upgrades, with the upgrades, the shapes will just be a bit, little bit more elegant or a little bit different. I've got the matching wine glass here, which again has the gold rim and it's a nice shape. So there we have a little upgrade there. There are lots of different options. You have ones where they've got a gold band around it. They may have, they may be a cut glass version. The stems will look different. It depends on the style of what you're after. You can also use something like this. This is a cute little amber colored glass. You could use this for wine. You could also use this as a water goblet, really, to be honest. Um, it's got a little pattern on it. I quite like the color of this. Lots of different options for you there. That is just a small selection of what is out there on the market at the moment. And then there's the actual stationery on the table as well. So that would be place names and menus if you decide to have personal menus. There are so many different options you can put tags on your favors. You can tie place names around your napkins. You can use beautiful pieces of ribbon, so many different colors, again, textures. Velvet is really nice. You have these really fun tassels which people are using a lot at the minute. So an example of where a tassel could be attached to a place name, for example, like here. It says groom with this really cool sort of champagne colored tassel on a little bit of vellum. It's really cute 
by one of my suppliers. So a couple of different options there. You can do calligraphy on lots of different textures. Argate, I think that's how you say it. You can use stones if you wanted to and write names on stones and place them on the table. You can also have personalized menus or just menus printed for each guest. I don't actually have any on me at the minute, but I will put some pictures up here for you now. So that just gives you an idea of different options that we've done with clients and what you can potentially do. Finally, where you can just add a little bit extra to your table design is thinking about your candles. You may want to add nice, long, beautiful candlesticks with elegant Esther and Eric candles, which are my absolute favorite. They are so elegant. They are tapered. Check them out. I will put a link below. There is an amazing UK stockist in Surrey. I will put a link to them as well so you can then go and view all the candles because there's not many stockists for them in the UK. But you can choose a variety of colored candles. You don't have to just stick to one. You can have up to like three colors, which looks really good on tall candlesticks. You can have small glass or textured ceramic, terracotta, candle votives. They create mooding. They create a little bit of height. And then there's obviously the flowers, which we're not gonna go into because it's not quite part of the place setting design. But you can have flowers added on top of your napkins to each place setting, which looks really pretty. So there's lots of different options there for just the extra details. But today we've gone over the main setup. So I hope you found that helpful and it's just shown you where you can add a little bit of personalization and you don't have to just stick to the standard that's issued. You can chat to your caterers, chat to your wedding venue, chat to your wedding planner or coordinator and look at different options and different designs for your day. And it doesn't have to blow your budget. You can always just pick, for example, just the napkin, just to add a pop of color and a little bit of personalization to tie it all in with the rest of your wedding. I hope you found that helpful today, guys. Remember, if you want a little bit more support, then join my Facebook community. And if you want to become part of the Bride Academy Members Club, then make sure you hit my mailing list up because it opens every single month with different topics to help you with your wedding planning. I hope you have a fantastic week guys and I will see you next week.